about it. So Kendrick Lamar is performing at the next Super Bowl, but some people aren't very happy about it. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, oh because of the whole Drake situation. But I'm not quite. It's because of this guy, Lil Wayne. See, Lil Wayne had a problem. The next Super Bowl is going to be in Lil Wayne's hometown of New Orleans. He's been very vocal about how he wants to perform there. Now, some of you may not know this, but Lil Wayne was the biggest rapper in the world for many years. So it was surely a possibility. So the people in New Orleans said, yeah, the Super Bowl said, yeah, just kidding. We chose Kendrick. Wayne fan said, huh? Super Bowl said, huh? I don't know. Ask Jay-Z. Ah, yes, that Jay-Z, the only Jay-Z, because he is the one who chooses directly who is performing in the Super Bowl. And this happened because after the Colin Kaepernick thing, the NFL asked Rihanna to perform. She said, in her words, I couldn't care to perform. The NFL chooses Maroon 5, it was a disaster. Jay-Z steps in and the halftime show is good again. So Jay-Z's response to Lil Wayne not performing was, Nothing, because he don't respond. So people came up with their own conclusions. Nicki Minaj's was Jay-Z has a problem with Birdman, Drake, and Nicki Minaj. Now I need you to listen, because here's where it starts to connect. First of all, notice she did not say hatred for Lil Wayne. That's important, because Birdman, Drake, and Nicki Minaj all have their separate problems with Jay-Z. Second of all, they were all part of the same label at one point and were like a family. But the family broke down a little bit, and Jay-Z is a big part of that story. Yeah. A big reason why that family broke down is because Birdman doesn't pay his fucking artists. Like, one of the biggest problems with Birdman is, is, is that, like, he doesn't pay his fucking artists. Like, Wayne was chilling with it because he was, like, touring like a motherfucker. Um, but, like, you know, what, you know, in, 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 in like, you know, Lil Wayne is, like, on, like, like, the Prince level of just, like, shitting out bangers with, like, greatest of ease like wayne has has like been on record to like go how he to have to go back like and listen to old songs to remember them and relearn them so he can perform them like he's like little and he's had a 20 year career of doing this he's you know put out you know he's he, like god knows how many songs are like are like sitting on the back burner with him you know like like probably not the same level as Prince, like because Prince literally has a vault that his estate has filled with, you know, totally completed projects, total entire productions that people have made, worked on, developed, and are ready to like go out there that are just sitting in a vault somewhere. Like wild. This guy named Birdman signs Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne signs Drake and Nicki Minaj. Come to find out, Birdman doesn't pay anybody. That's why Drake and Pusha T got into it. Birdman didn't pay for for a beat. Pusha T is his friend, says, screw you, Birdman. Lil Wayne says, don't talk about Birdman like that. Pusha T says, screw you, Wayne. Drake says, screw who? Again, like a family. Now, remember when I told you Lil Wayne was one of the biggest rappers in- Like, uh, Push, uh, not Pusha T, fucking, um, Birdman is, uh, literally like like that dad like a cheapo dad that like promises his kids the world but don't fuck but like fucking says oh i'll take you to disney world and then takes you to and then takes you to uh fucking gator world while fucking visiting your family in jacksonville in the world jay-z wanted to sign up but jay-z knew how close lil wayne and birdman was so he says hey birdman i'm gonna ask lil wayne birdman gets pissed saying why would you even try that jay-z says Hey, Lil Wayne, you want to sign to my label? Lil Wayne says, I'm going to stay loyal and sign to Birdman. But I uh, remember how I told you Birdman don't pay nobody? Birdman basically gives Lil Wayne nothing. And Birdman's excuse was, I took Lil Wayne and his mom out the trap. So Birdman steals $100 million from Lil Wayne. The money Lil Wayne was supposed to use to start his own label. So with no money, Lil Wayne gave you Nicki Minaj, Drake, and Tyga. Some of the biggest rappers to date. And the sad part is... I want to remind everybody that at least that two of the people in this photo are either active, actively engaged in pedophilia or enable it. You can argue they got so big because of what happens next. Lil Wayne finds out all that money is being stolen from him. He says, screw you, Birdman. Birdman says, screw you. You can't release music. So the number one rapper in the world, Lil Wayne, was not able to release music. Drake becomes the number one rapper, but it's way more complicated than that. Regardless, Jay-Z pops in and says, you need some help, Lil Wayne? So Lil Wayne teams up with Jay-Z. They sue Birdman. Lil Wayne gets like $50 million. Some people believe that Jay-Z helps artists out with their label problems so he can sign them to management deals. Jay-Z's done this for Lil Uzi Vert. He's done this for Megan Thee Stallion. And boom, here's where it all connects. Remember, Jay-Z has helped out Lil Wayne. 
Taking this challenge is so damn fine. I'm sorry. Like, the, like, 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 it's my wife, Megan the Stallion, everybody else. Birdman gets pissed. He's helped out Megan the Stallion. Nicki Minaj gets pissed. Because she believes that Megan the Stallion was trying to take her spot in rap and Jay-Z's team was trying to help her do that. But the truth is, all of this is much bigger than that. It's about business. And that's why Drake got pissed. Because after Jay-Z helped out these artists, he doesn't ask them to sign to his label. He just asked for a favor. And his request to Lil Wayne was to release his next album on something called Tidal, which was a streaming platform that Jay-Z owned. Lil Wayne says, of course, I got you. Jay-Z then asked Drake. Drake says no. Then signs with Apple Music for $40 million, which apparently pissed Jay-Z off. So Nicki Minaj and Birdman, by the way, are saying this is Jay-Z's way of taking revenge. But regardless, people sign up to Tidal because of Jay-Z's connection with rappers. He sells Tidal and Jay-Z gets millions. Now, when I say he asked for a favor, that don't mean he just asked for a favor. It's more like he discovered Rihanna, they're tight. He says, hey, can you perform at the Super Bowl? Rihanna's never gonna say no. I also want you to understand that he could truly be helping out artists from the kindness of his heart and just ask for favors when he really needs a favor. So as you can tell, he has a business mind, which finally brings us to Kendrick Lamar. As you can imagine, all that stuff I just mentioned puts Lil Wayne in a weird spot, right? He was a legend that suddenly had to stop releasing music, so he's still relevant in many spaces, but maybe not all the spaces. You wanna know who's relevant in all the spaces, though? Kendrick Lamar. Coming off one of the biggest years in rap history with a few singles means everyone will watch the show. But that's not even the reason. He was always going to be able to do this. Because the man is a performer whose last tour broke the record for most ticket sales in rap history. And since he's already shown he can do the Super Bowl, since he's playing on all the radio, since it's on Black History Month, the decision was probably easy for Jay-Z to make. But that does not mean Lil Wayne can't perform at another Super Bowl. It just has to make sense. Lil Wayne's words were, I hope I do enough this year to perform. Because he understands what it takes for a rapper to perform. Dr. Dre, Eminem, Kendrick Lamar, Snoop Dogg, Mary J, 50 Cent. All need to be together so people would watch. Because y'all not buying Lil Wayne tickets. Y'all not streaming his songs. So maybe next time. Because Lil Wayne is definitely a legend. And he for sure got the hits. So, Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. So, basically all I, all I feel I need to say about this is. I mean, it makes sense. Like, Kendrick Lamar has come, like. I wasn't listening to Kendrick before this year. I am now listening to Kendrick Lamar. Like, I'm working my... I'm literally working my way through to Pimp a Butterfly right now. Um, so, like... My, my, like... Ultimately, at the end of the day... Um... You know... I like Wayne. I really liked, um... Like, I... Mona Lisa is, like, one of my probably top say probably top 30 you know favorite rap songs i love that shit man off the carter five and ultimately i think like i think it would be really awesome if wayne was able to um do it in new orleans but also like it's going back to new orleans in the future too like it's not gonna it's like it's not new orleans is a awesome fucking town and, you know, it's, you know, there's, like, the, the, the Super Bowl in the last, this will be the second time, I think, in, hold on, what the fucking, when did the Saints, let's go to the Super Bowl, Saints, Saints, hold on, Times Super Bowl was in New Orleans. So like if I I remember it, like when I was younger it was in um yeah the NFL is hosted the Super Bowl ten times in New Orleans um the eleventh is this is 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 at the next Super Bowl um last time was 70, 72, 75, 78, 81, 86, 90, 97. Here I was born uh two oh two thirteen yeah. Like it, it, like it's within the last decade. Like it's been held in New Orleans, so it's, um, New Orleans. Like it's, I, it's going back into it. it it's going back to New. It, it'll, it'll be back there. So I think Little Wayne will have his shot. No, no, no. And and by the way, he'll. It'll be 
after he has like gotten like started releasing music and gotten his career back to like at least something where he's like a little more relevant again and stuff i think for sure he will you know it'll that'll happen hey thanks for watching if you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video outside of live streams or just be a join the community and be a part of it you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash discord discord links there we'd love to have you and given the financial situation of the economy right now i know this is a tall ass but if you have the scratch to, to spare please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg slash tip all of our perks are serviced through our discord channel including early access videos exclusive videos and more your generosity is a blessing and a dollar a month is a food to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you and have a great day.